Welcome to Module 2, Developing a Viable Search Strategy. This is one of a series of instructional videos created for evidence-based practice in healthcare. Evidence-based practice is supported by the librarians at the Kellogg Health Sciences Library. If you require assistance, contact us by email at kellogg at dal.ca or give us a phone call at 902-717-5244. Once you have your PICO clearly defined, your search strategy falls easily into place. If you recall, this is our PICO framed question from Module 1. Remember, the acronym PICO stands for Population, Intervention, Comparison, and Outcome. In this example, the population is adult females with chronic low back pain. The intervention is tramadol with acetaminophen taken orally twice daily. The comparison is a placebo, and the outcome is a reduction in pain scale scores. We'll use this as our starting point. It is recommended that you begin your search with the disease concept and then add the intervention. You could also search the comparison if there is one. It is advisable to keep your search strategy to two to three concepts. If you add too many concepts, you risk missing relevant papers. In addition to the search terms describing the topic of your search, you can limit your search to a particular study design. Doing this will give you the best evidence for a particular question. This slide shows the pyramid of evidence for a therapy question. PubMed makes it easy to limit searches by study design. The best evidence for a treatment question found at the very top of the pyramid will be offered by a well-done meta-analysis or a systematic review of high-quality randomized controlled trials, or RCTs. These types of studies find, appraise, and synthesize individual RCTs, giving a more powerful estimate of the true effect of an intervention than a single RCT could do. The next best level of evidence would be finding a single high-quality RCT. If one fails to find a meta-analysis or a RCT, one might have to rely on weaker forms of evidence such as non-randomized clinical trials or observational studies. The weakest form of evidence are case series reports or individual case reports. For some questions, there may be no published evidence at all. For more information on study designs, see the resources listed here. You can also find them in the video description. Here is what the final search approach will look like. We will search for low back pain and combine it with the term tramadol. In this example, we will choose to limit our search to RCTs, which can be done using the article type. This PubMed search will be demonstrated in more detail in Module 3. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.